Let's find the molar mass for the molecule caffeine. So to do that, we could count up all of the atoms in the caffeine molecule. This is the caffeine molecule right here. They're actually not all written in this structural formula here. So let's just kind of overlay a molecular model. So now you can see these nitrogens. This nitrogen ends in a carbon, and there's hydrogens around it, and so on. If we counted up all of the atoms, all of the nitrogen atoms, the carbon atoms, those are the black ones, the oxygens, which are red, if we count all those up, we get C8H10N4O2. And now we can use this to find the molar mass for caffeine. So we look up carbon on the periodic table. Carbon is right here. It's 12.01. That's grams per mole. I won't write grams per mole each time. We have eight carbon atoms. So we multiply that by eight. Hydrogen over here, hydrogen, 1.01 grams per mole. And we have 10 hydrogen atoms. We multiply that by 10. Nitrogen, 14.01 grams per mole. We have four nitrogen atoms. And let's move up here. Oxygen, 16.00 grams per mole. And we have two oxygen atoms. So we're going to multiply these together like this here and then add them all up. When we do that, we find the molar mass for C8H10N4O2, which is caffeine, as 194.22 and the units grams per mole. My periodic table, it rounds to two decimal places. If your periodic table rounds to a different number, you might get a slightly different answer out here. What this means is that if we had 194.22 grams of caffeine, that would be one mole. Or if we had one mole, we'd know the mass to be 194.22 grams. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for caffeine. Thanks for watching.